Hi everybody, I uh, got thinking today that it would be kind of neat to kind of tour around my farm yard here in Rumsey, so I thought I'd maybe share it with uh, everybody out there to kind of show because a lot of times I don't think we really get to an opportunity to visit others farms, so I thought it would be kind of neat to just show you quickly around mine. So this is my old barn. It's right in the middle of the yard pretty much. There's uh, lots that have changed in the last few years, but at the time it was right in the center of the yard. So the barn itself is about a hundred years old. It was about 1919 when it was built as far as I know by, it was uh, the Mennonites used to tour around and put up barns and they do it in just like one month or less I guess and quite a few of the barns were around here were built by them and this is one of kind of the last ones standing so there's my sprayer there waiting hopefully don't have to use it much more now got lots of cats running around right now we have lots of kittens so if I trip you know why I'm tripping I kind of store some stuff around here just kind of park it out of the way so air seater and the land roller and the trailer and stuff and this is my grain dryer setup that I just kind of set up last year it was uh, kind of a all summer long job so it was uh, I just moved the shed over here this year it was over by my shop and I'm going to set it up for a dryer shed so you can kind of see my three wet bins so and then setting up the auger here and the guys out in Saskatchewan that I bought the dryer from Glenmore they were really good they helped me line everything up so that I would line up with the bins and everything so and uh, I'm just using a generator so to run everything and it's kind of ready for this year I got a few things I got to do I got to get it set up so I can hit more of my uh dry bins i'm hoping to get that set up this year and also got guys coming hopefully in the next week or so to install some air on my dry bins so on these two bins are going to get these uh big fans put on them and they will run off my generator when my dryer is running as well so i can get a little more cooling and just in case i don't need the dryer i can always use the aeration so I got lots of helpers following me here. How many horsepower on the dryer? Hmm. I knew that question before. Uh, I'd have to go look, but I think it's like, uh, it's got the uh, Perkins en diesel engine in it. It's, oh, I'd have to guess, but it's a 156 kVA generator. So it's a fairly good sized generator. I'm not sure on the horsepower on it though. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's got a fairly big uh, Perkins in it anyways. This is my old white tractor. We've had it since 1989, brand new. So my dad bought it and still here working on the farm. So, and you can never have enough augers. So a lot of augers sitting around. So this is the row of bins I put up in the early nineties. So these 5,000s were these three five thousands I bought in about 93 94 they were uh, a big expense at the time but I wish I had to put more up at the at not like now for what they were so and this is my auger I just bought here last fall just with the running the dryer you need lots of augers so there's always some auger set up somewhere so this guy I'm just bringing barley in and filling some bins so I got my trucks ready here for harvest. I've been working on them the last couple days. There's uh, my 90 Kenworth and the old trailers. This is the original setup I bought back in the late 90s. They were used at the time and they're, uh, it's been a pretty good truck for me. So, And then this is the newest one I bought here two years ago so with the Super V's on it. Still got my friends following me here. <laughs> And then my fertilizer bins that uh, the last one has been promoted to a seed bin now. So 
these guys I still use for fertilizer, they're empty right now, so. And then I have an extra aeration bin here, so. And my old cold storage shed that we built back in the, the 80s, I remember, and then I retinned it in about 2004, 2005. Put new tin on it and kind of refurbished it because they're hard to replace now, these buildings, so. And my old three ton that got promoted to a service truck now. So I got a generator with a light tower on it for lighting up bin yards. And uh, this is a 76 International that my dad bought brand new from a dealer in Three Hills. So we actually have had this forever and I learned how to drive stick shift on this thing. So this is the community transmission truck from my tweet the other day is pretty much my whole family learned how to drive stick shift on this in this truck so yeah and there's my storage shed for the equipment in the winter time and got some oil and stuff in there and i got one of the combines out it was had some work done to it and uh i just never put it away yet but getting it ready too so so yeah and then the, the old house is from uh 1968 so i lived there pretty much my whole life and up until about uh, 15 years ago, I guess it is now. We've been in Troshu, so. But yeah, so this is my yard and this is my farm. So just figured I'd share with you guys. Oh well, yeah, my, that's my heated shed that I do all my work and my workshop. So, but yeah, so I guess if anybody else wants to share their farm sites, it's kind of cool just because more than likely we'll never get to visit. So, so I hope everybody enjoyed the quick tour of my farm.